Hello everyone. In this video, let's work on number 43 in section 6.4. In this question, we need to find the mass of a given object. This is a 12 inch rod. The cross section is a square. We know the length is 5.5, 1.5 inch. The density function is what depends on the x variable. Low x will be this quadratic function. So we can consider for the left end point corresponds to x equal to zero, and the last end point corresponding to x equal to 1.5 inch. Okay. We will follow the four step four step procedures. First, we will sub subdivide the interval into n pieces. For each sub interval, the length is given by 12 divided by n. Then for each sub interval, we compute or approximate the mass using the formula of density multiplied by volume. And we, the density, we want this one to be a constant. So we can do, for example, the left end point or the right end point approximation. This is the law of xk, for example. And then the volume of these sections will be the area of the base times the height. The height is delta x. The area of the base, because of the square cross section, now will be 1.5 square. All right, so this part give us the volume. Then this is step two. Step three, we just add all the local contributions. Step four, we take the limit. Whenever M approach to positive infinity, we switch the notation of the sigma to integral. Lower and upper bound of the integration is determined. And we simply change low xk to low x. Also for delta x, we symbolically make it as dx. All right. Now we obtain the final definite integral that we need to evaluate. Now it's time to plug in the function of law of x. This will be a quadratic function as an integrand. Now we calculate this one finally. It will equal to 139.32. Don't forget that we need to add the unit for this particular quantity. Okay, so here the key is to understand the solving procedure, which is subdivide, approximate, add, and limit. Okay.